to our second weekly vlog. Um, this path is apparently the place to film now. Um, I feel like you saw it probably a lot on our first vlog last week. Um, but welcome to another day. Um, we're in quite rose spirits today, tentatively. Um, we were originally going to go up the gondola today, which has beautiful views all over Christchurch. Um, but well, not unfortunately, hopefully fortunately, um, our plans were changed because um, there was a van that was posted last night um, that's for transit. It's sort of exactly what we want. Um, and really fortunately, it is in the Christchurch area. So um, hopefully we are gonna see it later on today, but the lady hasn't got back to us for a few hours. So instead of just kicking our heels and chilling at home, we thought we might as well go do something else that we've been wanting to do in Christchurch, which is to go to Black Betty's, that's right, isn't it? Black Betty's, which is a cafe brunch spot. So it's about half 12-ish now. It's supposed to be really, really, really lovely. Um, you've been before, haven't you, Tom? And you liked it. So we've done a little bit of research online and that always seems to come up as like the top cafe anyway. Um, so I'm excited to give it a try and see what all the road's about. Um, and then hopefully by the end of the day, we might have some more news on this van. And this is the Riverside Market. This is a really cool place full of eateries and and places to drink as well. There's some milkshake places. Let me see up there, there's a tapas and a bar. Um, but I think it's quite new because, yeah, Tom, you didn't say it was open, did you, when you were here last time? Um, but at some point, we'll show you inside. Um, we've been here a couple of times, actually. It had a great toasty from here the other day, which was lovely. Um, but yeah, it's huge. It sort of reminds me a bit of, like, to Londoners, Kingly Court crossed with Borough Market. So yeah, it's really awesome in there. Look at our table. It's so got a glass top and then all of these things under it. I will show you, this menu is a little bit different. Look at this one. An espresso tonic. Double shot espresso with tonic water on ice with fresh lemon. Now I'm not sure. I love tonic water and I love coffee, but I'm not convinced. I think I might actually go for an affogato, which is Tom's favourite dessert. I'm going to flip now and just try to eat a brunch menu. It looks really good. Like this buttermilk pancake stack. If I was in the mood for sweet, that would be a hundred percent my go-to. Um, but I think I'm you know, going for some eggs benedict. I just don't want to treat myself to some salmon. Um, they're out of this pig daddy, but that also sounds really good. Um, we've got some corn fritters at the top. Basically, just thinks everything in the Stacey sack, and then the burger, fries. But yeah, it looks really, really good. So I took the plunge. I went for the eggs benedict on potato hash with smoked salmon and it looks so good and what's yours tom breakfast ah. breakfast melt breakfast melt oh yes i can testify to that there is meltiness in there it looks so nice 10 out of 10 presentation hello everyone and welcome to a new day um we've taken a little trip outside of the city today so we are walking a bit of a path called the godly head trail um, it is a circular route that apparently will take around three days to walk if you um, did it all the way and you can stay at some of them camping huts. But we've just done a little stint of it today um, up to basically I think her point was Godly Head Car Park and it starts in Sumner which is a little town just outside of Christchurch um, and the views from this trail are beautiful. It follows the coast, hooks the coastline and it's so pretty. The water is so so blue, very different from the greys that we get in the UK. Um, but I will insert a few clips now because I've just been taking a few as we've been going and going uphill, which is why I'm out of puff. <laughs>
fairly moderately hard walk so it's not super easy it's quite undulating and um, it's all on a um, sort of gravel path um, so not too far off the trail but I think you have to be reasonably fit to do it um, a little bit more intense than a stroll I would say but it's such a beautiful thing to do if you're singing Christchurch for a little while it's so nice and I'm so glad we've got to do it today when the weather's been really beautiful um, good morning everyone um, I thought that I would just give you a little update because it's just been a couple of days now since I last picked up the camera um, it is Thursday today so we're getting towards the end of the week um, and there's been some exciting new developments in terms of the van so I wanted to fill you in um, on what potentially now the next few weeks could look like um, but also yeah what we've been getting up to to try and organize it all but thank you so much for all of the love on our last vlog that went up um, on Tuesday evening your time so Wednesday morning our time and it's been so nice getting messages from friends and family back at home saying that they're watching and that they've enjoyed just following along and seeing what we've been up to in the first week so um thank you if you are still here for the second vlog so I know the first vlog can be quite a determiner of whether people return and um, so thank you so much um, but yeah, it's been a bit of a quieter week this week, um, just to paint a bit of a picture. Um, Laura and Nate are both off from work this week, so they are the people that we're staying with. Um, and on Tuesday, you'll have seen that we went for a really pretty walk. Um, so that's what we did on Tuesday with them, and then we just spent some quality time with them. Um, because Laura actually left very early yesterday morning. Um, she has gone to race at the New Zealand Championships in Wellington, um, so that's really exciting. By the time we're watching this, we'll know exactly how she's done so maybe I'll give you an update in the next weekly vlog so I drove her to the airport quite early um, and then yesterday um, and towards the end of the previous day so Tuesday um, we had viewed a van at the start of the week and we didn't know whether it was the right one at first to be honest um, we saw it come up first thing on Monday um, and we were so excited and just by some chance it was in Christchurch because they're actually selling it all the way up in Auckland so it was listed in Auckland um, and we were like oh it will just be up there right now and um, we'll have to fly to see it probably before we buy it um, but yeah by some miracle the lady said that we're actually down um, near Christchurch just a few miles outside of it today or on that day so we were able to view it um, and I think to be honest we'd hyped it up a lot in our heads before we went to see it like the pictures of it are beautiful um, but I think when we were there we were probably just a little bit disappointed um, of the finish of the van no nothing to do with the van's mechanics or anything like that surprised us we knew what we were getting ourselves into but um, I think we'd hoped it felt like a little bit more modern and new and I think just going away on reflection we just really thought about how many things it really did tick off our wish list in terms of what we wanted for a van we want one that we're able to stand up in majorly that's the big wish and um, that we can stand up in it this one has skylights and we can stand in, up in it fine and um, we would love one with solar panels so we can go off grid for a little bit but also one that we can charge our phones and our laptops from because obviously we're going to be doing a lot of editing and vlogging but also tutoring as well um, as a bit of something we're doing on the side um, so that was also a must and we wanted a diesel manual really um, just because um, they're apparently according to my dad who's very knowledgeable about these sort of things um, that they are the most economical in terms of fuel consumption so that's what we were looking forward to um, and ideally wanted one with a fixed toilet because there's a potential in a couple of years that New Zealand might pass uh, or the government might pass a rule which means that you have to have a fixed toilet in your van for it to be self-contained which means you can go camping off grid so we wanted to cover ourselves so we can definitely sell it and um, that we had a fixed toilet and this van hit all of those things um, and there's a part of me as well which is like if we get this van which I'm really hopeful we will we can do a lot of the work to it and um, one thing about this one is that it's a fixed bed at the back and we did sort of want one where it, it was sort of bench seats that could be converted into a bed um, so there's a few things but I'm really hopeful we can tweak those things um, to make it the perfect van but also it almost pretty much is um, it's a Ford Transit it's like a blue black colour I really don't want to jinx it by saying too much um, the, one of the only things is that we are going to be picking it up in around three weeks in Auckland it just means basically that we're going to be around here potentially for a lot longer <laughs> um, and it will probably mean that there's a lot of our days in the next few weeks that are very chill probably don't involve too much uh, there's a few things that I really would love to do um, that hopefully are a little bit more exciting for either vlog type content or also standalone video content but really excitingly Michael McIntyre is coming to Christchurch in a few weeks time so we um we might try and get tickets for that 
he is probably one of my favorite comedians and i've always wanted to see him live so this seems like a great opportunity um to do that so that's just at the christchurch arena um in a few weeks and then like we you've seen on the last vlog um there is a cricket match at the oval and um, the hagley oval hat thing um, in it, about a week's time too so there's a few things and then there might be one other thing that i really need to convince tom slash see if it works but i yeah really really want to be able to film it and do a video on this thing so we will see um so that's a little update about the van and what maybe our plans might be for the next few weeks hopefully um, and today it is around 9 a.m now um we've been getting into quite a bad habit of sleeping in and um, because we haven't got as much to be getting up for at the moment um and yeah we can sort of just make our days last a little bit longer and into the evening we've been sleeping in until i mean minimum nine unless we have tutoring which means that we're getting up at like six five six a.m our time but um on the other days we've been sleeping until yeah minimum nine maybe 10 11 which i'm aware is very late um so i really really want to get in a better routine um, of getting up a little bit earlier just to feel a little bit better and like we've done something with the day by the time it hits 12. i'm really hopeful that my morning routine will be starting to look a bit a little bit different um i really want to take myself to the park and uh, listen to a podcast i've got a few podcasts um, that i am sort of a bit behind on and um, one of them being the orchard and um, if you go to church and you're a christian the or, or even if you're not i mean it's not an exclusive club but the orchard is a great great podcast and um, where they talk about women and um, women in the bible last year they did a whole series about um, female characters in the bible and really focusing in on them and what it says about jesus um, so I'm really, really hopeful um, that I'm going to be able to get out more, listen to those podcasts, just really start them my day off right or do a little bit of um, Let's Co 365 and listen to um, some devotionals before I start the day, even if it's just for a really short time. So today I thought I'd start off on the right foot. I've got my coffee um, and I'm just going to take a little walk around the park. Um, but I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. Also, thank you so much for people that are liking and commenting. Please subscribe too. I forgot to do a little plug in that in the last video, um, but please do subscribe. It's just really nice to be able to gain a little bit more momentum. And I think when we do that, basically that means people see our videos more when they search for things or it gets recommended to them or gets put on their watch list. So um, yeah, thank you so much for coming on this crazy, unpredictable, unstable journey with us um, and for all of your support. Um, and we'll pick up the camera maybe today we're thinking we might go to the beach because it's supposed to be 30 degrees today and it's supposed to be the nicest day for a while so i might take you to sumner we spoke about it um in the previous clip on this vlog and um, so i might take you there and maybe to one of the really nice cafes and restaurants there as well um, and just show you the view because it's gorgeous um but yeah we might try and work on this tan a little bit more <laughs> um and i'm in the process the process i'm in the um yeah, maybe I'm in the process. I'm reading a book at the moment um, that I'm enjoying about halfway through now. I hit the 50% mark last night. So I want to finish that and then go on to the next one because it's a fine book. It's not the best one. Um, but thanks so much for sticking around, even when things might feel a little bit uneventful and the last vlog was a lot of supermarkets, I know. Um, but yeah, I really want to try and make them a little bit more interesting for you. And I'll see you soon. just for a little bit of sun um i love the name sun. It sounds like it should be just be eternal summer here um and we just are gonna sit on the beach lie on the beach read my book or our books for a few hours um because the tide is coming in so there's sort of two beaches here it's split in half um divided by this big rock in the middle um and we went to go to the other beach because that's where most people go swimming um but the tide is fully in um but this beach as you can see is huge and has so much more sand and means the tide will not come in as far so um i don't know whether we'll go in the water on this side but i think in an hour or so we'll relocate if the tide's gone in um and then we'll be able to do a bit of wave hopping i don't think really you're swimming here there's lots of big waves and there's lots of people that surf here as well um what we saw the other day um, we are not going to be surfing here i don't think um instead we're just going to be beach lounging and swimming um, and then we might go for a drink um so here you can see just back there there's a really really nice cafe that i was saying about earlier and um, so we might go there for a drink later on
so we've come to the beach which is a cafe on the beach in Sumner this is the view so you see the hills and the mountains in the background it's looks all really hazy and the tide is probably its highest and it's going out now and we've just come in we've been sitting reading our books for the afternoon and we're enjoying some apple spritzes which we're very excited about love an apple spritz Hello everyone and welcome to a new day. It's beautiful sunshine so we thought we'd take this opportunity to climb the route of the gondola. So there's a gondola which goes from the outskirts of Christchurch all the way up to a viewpoint right at the top, potentially that all the way over there. Um, and we could get the gondola, that's the easy option, but we thought no, we're going to save $35 and we're going to climb. Um, so apparently it's a very steep incline. There's a rock fall hazard, so let's hope we make it up without an avalanche. Um, and it should take around 45 to 60 minutes. So from the top, we're gonna get a really nice view. So we're on this gravel path and we thought, oh, if it's like this all the way up, then it'll be all right. That's not too bad. You know, a bit, bit out of breath, but we're okay for now. Oh, it's, it's behind that bush. And then I was gonna show you what we then realized was the actual path, which I'll show you in a second, which is up there and it's basically looks vertical. So this, presuming, is the path we need to take. So straight up there. So no gradual incline for us, we're going straight up. Also basically overcast this morning and it was forecast to get a little bit brighter around 11, 12. So we were like, oh, perfect. We're on a good view when we get to the top. So we'll wait a little bit. Um, and now the result is no clouds, good, but baking hot sun. And um, so <laughs> Philip, we didn't maybe think that one through. We're definitely going to be climbing at the hottest point of the day. So the sun creamed up, you can see the glow. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully that'll be enough to stop us getting burnt but oh my goodness that is what I call a vertical ascension so it turns out this isn't the actual path I think it's the pipe that goes all the way to the top but these loonies have tried it so we're going to as well there's an easy option that way to us now we're gonna take the hard one even the sheep are telling us not to do it ah you must not go this path is not for the faint-hearted the gondola station is up there so we've got to get to the top of there to be honest it might be flat as we walk across Tom's regretting not when it bringing his water bladder um, with this backpack he's got came with one and for some reason today like I was saying we thought no no water bladder I think it would have been useful because we've got one 500 milliliter bottle between the two of us so we did forget it existed we did forget it existed we haven't had to use it really have we but today would have been a good day okay which is fine it's not a race it's a marathon not a sprint i hope it's not a marathon okay let's go first bag swap over i'm carrying the load now Eat or. Eat or. Seem to have levelled off a bit now. So Emma's trucking her way and I'm taking in the scenery. them up and they just stopped us and they're like I don't know how you climbed it so quick um but that was tough we were just looking on Tom Strava and it was only a kilometer up but it was so steep um we were just saying to them when we've climbed quite a lot of hills in the UK and um, like we did Hell Vellum recently which I know isn't like the tallest of the tall but you know even still I think like that was a lot more gradual but that was steep um but it's so nice to almost be at the top and get those views it's really pretty oh who's that got another friend coming <laughs> maybe it's a dog Maybe just a person, who knows? Um, but yeah, we were just saying these waters are so blue. We don't know why this, why they're so blue. Apparently, obviously, like they're just blue, so much bluer over here. But Tom doesn't know if it's glacial. We're not sure. But this is where. So, shallow. Yeah, or shallow, or shallow. So this port here is where the cruise ships come in. So we think this is Littleton, um, and that's the closest port to the centre of Christchurch. Um, so when the ships dock they come here and then people get taken by coach either to literally just 
the gondola which goes up there um or to the center of christchurch and it's like a half an hour drive but there's no cruise ships today when we were there the other day we saw one but yeah not today um but yeah we'll probably carry on and try and get a good drink at the top i don't know whether it's actually that that is the drink <laughs> that's the drink or whether there's i think there's a cafe down the other side so we'll go try and find it okay by the power of our detective skills i think we've worked out what this is what is it tom volcano volcano so what we think this is the center of the volcano oh, I think that island, the island what's it called what's caldera. the center of volcano caldera. caldera i thought it was gonna be caldera but i didn't want to say that sound silly so a caldera and then this is this is the surrounding top bit that is cool because i'm gonna say like to ground level that side feels like a lot further down than ground level this side yeah. do you know what i mean Hmm. Yeah, interesting well, maybe it won't be the power of google will tell us but yeah this path here which i think we're going to follow up is called the crater rim walkway so the craters come on volcanoes so we'll, we'll have a little google mr google will tell us at the top okay i think this is the right way so I bet you can't see, but there's a couple that just go this way. They have a drone. And Tom and I are really thinking about getting a drone, aren't we? And it's just following them and it's got really, really pretty views. So I think you're investing. Because look, it just follows them. And I think it like lands itself and everything. That's what we need for places like this. So I don't know. Should we get one? Should we not? Let us know. But I do just think it'd be beautiful. I think we might have a bit of research into it whilst we're in Christchurch still because it's a town like this. I think we do need a drone. Yeah. I just thought I'd quickly show you this side. So the side you were seeing was the other side with the blue lakes, but this is the sea. So down there, I think is New Brighton. And that's where we did the park run last Saturday. And um, that's what that sort of peninsula is. But yeah, from there onwards, that is just sea for a long, long, long way. Um, and then I was around here and then that's Christchurch down there. So there's a lot more people that have all taken the gondola up. Lucky them. So we just want to sit down and have a a nice coffee or in your case a warm coffee you got a cup of ice to have with it but oh you have made it a nice coffee now <laughs> didn't think you were going to half price um, half price coffee with ice so it was cheaper anyway um we're just at the top now so this is like the main station and the cafe inside i just thought i'd take this opportunity to give you a little update I hope it be a really good update on the van. Um, so I spoke a little bit, a bit about it yesterday and we were saying about transferring the deposits and things. Um, well, last night we tried to send a little bit of money to um, the people who were buying the vans from the bank account um, because they are from Belgium, and um, well the lady is anyway, and that's who's getting the money. Um, so we just transferred a small amount to make sure it was the um, right account and it all went through okay. So we did that at like eight o'clock last night sent three euros um, and it got through okay she messaged us um, almost first thing this morning saying that she got it and so that has been now that we've been able to send the rest of the deposit over um, so we're just waiting for that to all go through and then the van is essentially ours which is so exciting um, it means though that we're picking it up like I said yesterday I think on the 23rd of March and so we booked our flights last night just preemptively and um, before they went up in price so we're flying up on the morning of the 23rd um, and then we booked our ferry crossing this morning because the ferry crossings back down from the north to the south um, are really booked up at the moment. Um, I'm not really, well, I think it's probably something to do with the cyclone actually. Um, but yeah, even three weeks in advance, it's still crazy. It's just, hopefully, tomorrow I'll be able to give you an update and let you know that the money has gone through and it will just mean then in a few weeks' time you can get on the road, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, thank you for all your prayers and good wishes. So many people have been like, oh, I hope you find the van, let us know any updates. Um, so there's probably a bit of a delayed update for you um, because hopefully you'll have it by the time that you're seeing this. And yeah, we're gonna keep sipping our coffee and then I don't know whether we'll go for a walk around the top. We've walked a very intense walk up, so we might just have a little wander around to see people behind me. This is like a viewing platform which goes all the way around. Um, so we might go out there, have a little bit of a look, eat some lunch when we're outside, maybe read our books for a little bit. I bought my kids book and you bought your book for so um, we'll do that and then we'll head back down probably. But yeah, our plan to catch the good weather has definitely happened. It's got a little bit cloudier since we've been up, so we always get really lovely views.
we're starting our descent down now we're gonna go the other way down so we sort of came up a little bit of a rockier track um that you'll have seen instead of taking the main road we sort of went back on ourselves because we just thought it would be a bit quicker um but we have decided to do the first part and all of it sort of down the main track this time just so it'd be a bit easier on the knees but it does also seem that there's a lot of walking tracks up here um because i can see in front of me the clip i just showed you um there's a footpath veering off to the right um and then there was the trail that we sort of joined as we were coming up so when you get up to the top and um, there's loads of different walks and stuff you can do um so that's why you know before we knew that the bridle path existed we um just thought that we'd pay to get the gondola up because it was only i think it was 35 dollars so about 18 pounds so it's not too bad considering you can have like a full day out which is why i tried to get here a little bit earlier just so we could do stuff but because we walked up and then down obviously we're not gonna excite ourselves too much and do all of the other ones but it's just nice to know that if you're um if you're coming up on the gondola you can definitely do some walks to take in the scenery and you're not going to miss out just because you haven't walked to the top around the road before we go down and this is what we mean you know backing up last week's vlog about New Zealand weather being changeable it was so warm earlier as my forehead can testify for um and now it's raining and we've got our jumpers back on I mean we are a little bit hot still I mean it is warm because we're hiking back up a hill again but now it's raining so you just never know do you but the one thing we did not bring was rain jackets but we have got an umbrella so Maybe if it gets really bad, but I have got a feeling we might also look a bit like Wally's just like with an umbrella when we're hiking. Wally with the brolly. Wally with the We do get caught in a little bit of rain so i think this is a mixture of sweat and rain um we definitely did the right thing by going up sorry sorry david bowie you're being turned down um <laughs> we did definitely the right thing of going up the pipeline well sort of i mean it was a hard job but anyway we did it went up the pipeline and then back down the other path i say if you were going up the pipeline you definitely have to be quite fit like i'd say that was like what a seven out of ten toughness i imagine the one that we came back down on wasn't quite as bad um i'd say that was probably like a five out of ten so like a moderate moderate walk um so sort of suitable for both you know both ends of the spectrum but it was a pretty good hike and we had a good day we definitely caught the weather right like coming down in the rain but then up in the sunshine um and we got sea lows from the top so yeah i would highly recommend i think it's a lovely lovely hour if you're docking christchurch for a day if you're on a cruise or you just come i do think it's worth going up and seeing because the views from both sides are really really pretty so you don't just get a city view you obviously get the lake view as well um so we're just gonna drive home have some leftover risotto from last night and maybe plan our route back down from auckland to anything Hello everyone, it is Saturday, almost evening now, um, it's about six o'clock and we are walking to a bar in Christchurch called Retropolitan, which was recommended to us by Nate. Um, apparently they have some cool old arcade games and things um, and good vibe and maybe some live music. Oh, scooter behind me. Um, so we are going there and we aren't going to eat we've just eaten a little bit of food but we might have some nibbles um but it sounded like they had a really really good cheese fondue where you could dip steak and peppers and stuff in which is really cool um but we decided to not have that and save save our pennies um but we might have some snacks um, and we haven't really done too much today actually we did um hagley park run this morning and um, so that's just the park that we always walk through which we're currently walking through like we always do um and it was a really flat course but by goodness it was hard um I think just physically excited ourselves yesterday on the walk but well, actually you were fine I was just out of puff clearly exceeding my fitness limits you are um but it was a really lovely route and then we just went and grabbed a coffee and then we came back to the house and basically just stayed there all day um and we've been doing some drone research because I think we're actually gonna buy a drone and we're gonna go tomorrow and see whether they've got any in stock and then 
I've also tried to do some editing because my laptop is so slow. Um, so that is why I'm also gonna end the vlog here or I'll insert some clips now of our time this evening just so I can show you a little bit around the bar. But thank you so much for watching. Um, we will have either another weekly vlog or potentially a standalone video next week. So see what you get. It'll be a lucky, lucky dip. Um, but thank you so much for watching, like I said. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and like this video and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. <laughs>